It's time to deliver on a promise. The last time you saw David Genevico and I, we were in New Johnsonville on Kentucky Lake flipping buck bushes in shallow cover. Put on an awesome show. But David was not satisfied. He wanted to go down the lake, check out some of those offshore humps and ledges and shell beds and throw a big crankbait. We rode around for a while, located a big school of fish. Man, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be fun. It's even wild. I'm Nathan Light. Welcome to 3B Outdoors. We're on Kentucky Lake in May. We're catching them. 3B Outdoors is brought to you by our premier sponsor, Spot Hog, maker of the world's toughest archery products. I'll tell you what, Nathan, it's pretty bad when you go 10 minutes, don't get a bite, and you think it's time to go somewhere, but uh, I'm gonna, I think we should go cranking for a little bit. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna run up the lake, maybe two or three miles, pick up a crankbait. Like I told you before, you know, there's two different patterns going on, and we've had a ball flipping, but let's go see if we can't get on a school and catch a bunch on a crankbait. Get some quality fish too. I hope so. That's what we're looking for. I got a tournament this weekend. I got to find some big ones. Sounds good. Now, that jig bite's been fun. Well, it's we been... may come back to it. But it, it sure did. It got slow, fun. man. Ten minutes out of bite. I mean. <laughs> yeah, ten minutes is terrible. Let's go. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Come here, dude. He ate it too, didn't he? Yeah. Well, guy, we're gonna find a load of biggins. Well, let's see. We can catch little ones shallow and we can catch little ones deep. He stroked it now. They know what to do with it. They know the drill. They're all the same size, baby sized. But if you hold them way out. They work, they bite, they yeah. swim. Hey, they're fun to wind then. It felt good on mine for just a second. <laughs> Basically what I'm doing is I'm kind of idling around and, and I really like to see them either on the side imaging or on the graph, and actually, if you look right there, we just came over the edge of a, a ledge, dropped off from nine into the river channel here, and you can see there, there's definitely some fish off the side of that. Now, that's not, and I'm not seeing a big giant school, but definitely that's a good sign. I'm gonna wait till I see some fish like that before I just actually start fishing. Um, and obviously, the more the better, because this time of year, there's gonna be a bunch of them. We're not looking for one or two fish, we're looking for a bunch of fish, so. I'm gonna keep idling around until we find the mother load, then we're gonna go catch them. Well, this is not the fun part. <laughs> no, this is this, this is, is the work part. And this is what people don't really understand. You come in with 20 pounds or 25 pounds in a bass tournament and they think, boy, it's just easy. They just know all the spots. But you know, you spend hours and hours idling around looking for these little key places and looking for places where the fish are and where the bait fish are. And usually if you find them, you're gonna do pretty well. But the other problem is they move. So, you know, you may find them one day and then have to kind of relocate them the next no, day. No, it's not a good one, but I told you I saw them suckers on the graph. 
And you pulled it right through there, didn't you? There he is. Yeah, that's a pretty decent one. It's not a bad one. There's a school of them right there. We're gonna turn around and bust these things. Take it easy. This segment of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by Express Signs. Specializing in lighted signs, their vehicle wraps keep us looking awesome. Keenan Polarized, never compromised. Luminox, lighted arrow knocks. The Block, 4x4. Onyx, keeping you there. And Kistler Rods, fishing never felt so good. Hi, Darren. I'm Dave. I'm Anna. And I'm Buddy. We're Greenville Outfitters. Located down here in the Asheville Highway in Greenville, Tennessee. We're covering all you need from buck, bass, and beards, from ammo to camo, with Hoyt and PSC boats. We're also the home of the big dog muzzle. Now you know why we call it the big dog. I bet my sight's tougher than your sight. Wanna bet? Eh. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Still wanna bet? Every hunter is greedy to take a big buck. Isn't it about time you get greedy? If so, go out and get you a spot hog side. It'll make you greedy. He's throwing the same baits in the same places and you're just catching all the fish. Nathan, I, I'm just looking. I think you're a plug. I see your problem. You're a plug. Don't have no hooks on. I tell you, after you've made some investments like I have and my retirement has performed the way it has, I can't afford to lose them. I took the hooks off of it. It's going to last me 20 more years. Nathan, my retirement plans are safe, secure, and guaranteed. Me and you just need to go top. So call Preferred Insurance Solutions at 423-378-9330. Hey, I'm Tim Smith, owner of Cornerstone Concrete Technology here in the Tri-Cities. Proud sponsor of 3B Outdoors. If your pool deck, concrete drive, or patio, or even your kitchen countertop could use a facelift, please give us a call here at 423-429-5143 for a free estimate. 423-429-5143. Cornerstone Concrete Technology, where your concrete is our canvas. There he is. Oh, he made, came off. There is an absolute. Oh, I got hit again. There's an absolute load of them right there. Easy, easy, easy now. I will have one on before you get that one back in the water. He's got it in a bad place. I can, I'm, I can feel him knocking my line side. Oh, got him. <laughs> I on? can feel my crankbait bouncing off of him. Look at that, I got a bluegill. Okay, this is an all time first right here. I'd like to thank all my sponsors. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. That's what I, I kind of like this picture a lot better than before. I don't know what you're talking about. There you go. That's a good quality that's bite. A, that's a solid fish. You asked me about if uh, everybody talks about shell beds on the Tennessee River, if these guys are really catching them on shell beds or they catch them on rock or gravel. I think we're catching them on shell beds. What do you think? I would say that we're catching them on shell beds. Now that is, that's a true mussel, right? Yes, that is correct. Tennessee River mussel. Won't wind? No, I don't feel like a, just a small one, but it is. We have sure one seen hook. a lot of those today, haven't we? One hook, look at it. He just finally got it. One hook in the lower lip. He liked my little crankbait though. Tons of those things yes. all day long. I think if you jump in, they would absolutely eat you alive. Won't wind and gigantula source. Add that to your dictionary spell. Yeah. I think there's some more down there with him. Where'd he come from? Right at the tip of that little 
bridge out there. You just drove over and found his living room and caught him in. Well, we've been doing a lot of driving, but I did finally see some right there. Now I've got you whirled up. Here, let me get, either. This is a fire drill right here. Got him. Got him again? Yep. Didn't? No, it's another one about like that, probably. It just got bigger. I think I've got two. Do you? Or I'm foul hooked, one or the other. You just keep bringing them. I'll see if I can't help you. No. No. But it could get fun. It could get fun. Yep. <laughs> this is what we came to do, man. This is Kentucky Lake right here. Oh, I want to get this one unhooked so bad. There's another one with that. About the same size. Small, but mean. Fun. Schoolies. Have you got one too? Yep. Would you say it's ever cast? You got any big ones in there? I don't know. That's not too bad there. That's close to being a keeper. But... Right, we ain't caught a big one yet, but it sure is fun because you get to that spot and they just load up every cast. How many have we caught? We've been here about three minutes. What have we caught? Five, six. <laughs> big one? He got just a little bit more shake. I don't know. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hang on, let me see if I can't get two more. Get us two more. I'm loaded up. Are you? I don't think it's two, though. Always let the guests catch the double. How about a triple? How about a triple? There you go. It's awesome, baby. We've been hunting a place like this all day. Here we are. There's one, here. two, I get the third. I got to throw back out here. I don't have time for all this. Two at a time is a lot of trouble. Yes, it is. You got me. <laughs> Uh -oh. If I make a cast and don't catch one, I'm going to kind of be upset. You're going to be in trouble because uh -oh. I'm, I'm back in the water. I've got the... He's a keeper. keeper but... But... No, he, I don't know. He's close to being a keeper. They didn't eat mine that time. They did that time. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Get right about right there. Oh. Is that going the wrong way? He's not a big one, but it sure is fun. There's several of them down there, so we'll just we're just gonna keep catching them. These are little ones. If these were four pounders, we're gonna leave, but we're gonna have some fun. I missed the spot. Oh no, I didn't need there it is. Well, oh, look at that. I thought it was again. Now, this here ought to not be legal. <laughs> All that does take up time. Yep, it's right there. Is that the spot? That's the spot. He found the spot. There's another one. I'm coming right behind you. I'll be able to pull one right right off of it too. 
Oh yeah. Oh Got yeah. Him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is just not any fun. No. I think I wish I was at work today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. I just hate having to unhook them. I just want to throw back out there. I could just do like I normally do, just let them get off. I got him. Baby doll. Where you at? I'll just follow your lines all I'm doing. I figured out the magic trick. Wherever the man casts and catches one, if you throw right behind him. <laughs> You'll come right through the goods right there. Right about there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is too good to be true. <laughs> This portion of 3B Outdoors brought to you by Nelson Outfitters, 3B Outdoors preferred Wyoming and Montana big game outfitters, 316 Lure Company, Rage Expandable Broadheads, Fat Daddy Crankbaits, The Secret Is Out, Paul Clark Jr., State Farm Insurance, Get to a Better State, Jackie's Deer Lures, The Real Scent Company, and Matthews, Catch Us If You Can. Spot Hog Archery Products is in the business of making archers across the world successful and business is good. Thousands of bow owners put meat in the freezer, animals in the record books, and trophies on the wall. The best archers in the world choose Spot Hog, and we are creating the very best archery product on the planet, period. Spot Hog is a family owned business that takes pride in the statement, made in the USA. We guarantee that you will not find a more accurate sight, arrow rest, or release. Purchase our products from your local archer dealer or visit us online and get greedy. Welcome to Jones Honey Preserve in the Flying J Ranch and Resort in Limestone, Tennessee. We offer guided and non-guided hunts for bobwhite quail, ringneck pheasants, and chucker partridge. Our preserve covers over 300 acres with five bird fields, lodge, clubhouse, 50-run kennel, plus skeet and trap. We welcome corporate groups, youth organizations, churches, and families to our resort for year-round enjoyment. You can reach me, Dale Myers, by phone, or visit us on the web at Flying J Ranch and Resort. Hey, happy wing shooting! The high definition revolution is here. Experience fishing in high def with HDS by Lowrance. See fish and structure more clearly with built-in broadband sonar and even brighter displays. This is really cool. New InSight mapping locates fishing hotspots faster. Track storms and your favorite sports with serious satellite weather and radio. Trust me, this is big. Come along for the excitement of the Virginia Blue Ridge Highlands Fishing Trail. If you're a professional bass fisherman, you've already heard about this place if you haven't already been here. If you're a world-class fly fisherman for the trout, we have some of the most diverse fisheries. You can come and live bait fish for smallmouth bass. We even have musky, pike, and all kinds of smallmouth bass that just really rock your world when they hit a topwater lure. For a downloadable map of all the locations, how to find them, go to fishblueridge.com. Wow, what a truck. F-250 Lariat Super Duty Power Stroke. What a beast. I think this thing is uh, bad enough to haul 3B Outdoor Bucks in the back. Or bad enough to haul my four-wheeler. Or bad enough to tow my boat to the lake. Have I got two, or what the deal here? Nope, just hooked in the head. Ah, come here now. I wish we'd been counting, because we hadn't been fishing here but about, what, 10 minutes? Yep. And I'll bet we've caught 20. Have you got another? Where'd you come from? You've got, he, he pulls that boat spin on me. Yeah, I'm trying to get where you don't know where to throw. He catches one, and I, I'm out here in the middle of the ocean. 
and I won't throw out a buoy because I don't want my, my guy to figure out where to throw. Oh, hey, oh yeah, hey, this is him right here. Is it? I believe this one's got a little bit of shake to him, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. He took off and went the wrong way for a second. I don't think he's that but good. Just pulling hard. Well, he come off, didn't he? He did come off. Golly. Here, you reel mine in, I'll reel yours in. You know what I'm doing? Oh, if you get a big one on, I want to reel that one in. This is a little better one. Yeah, there's some keepers mixed in here again. These are not giants, but who knows? In two days, these bigger fish may show up right here. Oh, that's dangerous. I'm gonna throw back out there though, just to see what happens. I wish they wouldn't eat it so good. It takes too long to get them unhooked. This is almost fun. Did you get one? Yep. I'm just kind of upset that you've caught two on one mm -hmm. cast and I hadn't yet. Yep. There's a whole school of them with that one right there. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's not a big neither. I thought he was a better fish. That knocks like my tree's not coming at you. <laughs> Jedi mind trick, come on, calm down. I'm fixing to put you back. Now that right there is a better ooh, one. Ooh. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, easy. I'm gonna see if I can't catch one while you're doing that. If that doesn't bother you. Maybe if we get all these babies out of the way, we'll start catching bigger ones. Hey, guess what, I got one. You got a good one? No. That's a good little keeper fish. <laughs> I tried to knock him off, please. Really. Oh boy, we have got fish poop flying everywhere. We've spent a good part of our day out here cranking ledges, and that's one of my favorite ways to fish. And so I just want to give you guys a, a real short tip on what to look for in a crankbait rod. When you're throwing a big crankbait, what you really need is a long rod, number one, and you need a rod with some tip where you can really get that bait out there. Long casts are key with a deep running crankbait. So what I use, and, and I actually helped design this rod for all pro rods, uh, this is called a 7.7 Blaster. Uh, it's a seven foot, seven inch rod. It's a pretty stiff rod for about two thirds of the blank. And then it's got quite a bit of tip on the end. So that lets me really be able to launch that crankbait as far as I can. But when I get a fish hook, it's got enough backbone to really be able to bring him to the boat. Go get you an all pro blaster. You'll catch more bass this year. I guess what, I got one. You got one, whoa. I'm gonna turn the boat so we don't have to throw over each other. I kinda like throwing over the Barry's head. It makes it, you know, I mean, that's Poor pretty... Poor camera guy. It's, He's it's, having a rough day back there. It's pretty dramatic throwing right over his head, you know. Finally got that right pull though, where every time they get on it. Yep, every time. Every time. <laughs> well, I'm kind of mad. I didn't catch one on that cast. You didn't get one on that cast? Uh-oh. There we go. He just about bit that crankbait right there. Did you see him? He got a big one. or I've got one file hooked. It kind of feels like two. Because they're not swimming right. No, it's just one hooked under the chin. It's a little bit better fish. <laughs> I 
this ought to be illegal. You know that? It just ought to be illegal. I just quick release two in a row before you get that man done. This ought to be illegal. Come to Kentucky Lake for the ledge bite. And it ought to be illegal. Game back on. That's a better fish. That's a three and a half anyway. Look how fat that fish is. Beautiful. Chris, that's a nice one right there. I just there. wish he was about that much longer. Not a bad day. Not a bad day. We didn't get all those big ones that I was hoping for, but my thumbs are pretty wore out anyway. We put the hurting on them right now. Yeah. Talk to them just a real brief, you know, we had that one little flurry on that crankbait that made it look real easy as every right. cast. Right. And they wasn't real huge fish, but they was fun to catch. But we talked about it, you know, some sometimes watching it on TV doesn't really do it justice right. to the work behind the scenes. Well, you know, you talk about going to Kentucky Lake and catching fish on a crankbait on ledges and, you know, uh, you watch it on TV, you watch it on the Bassmasters FLW, it looks easy. But we probably spent, you know, I don't know, four hours maybe just idling, not even fishing. You know, and I was worried I was boring you guys to death, but <laughs> when you get that payoff, it's really worth it. So, you know, I think that's one thing that people don't really get, how much work goes into finding those those little key spots. But when you find them, it can get real fun real fast. And we didn't have time to show you four hours of idling, but man, I appreciate you coming out here. It's an awesome day, caught a bunch of fish, and David, you're just more than uh, expected. Dale Pelfrey hooked me up with you, and uh, you know, so you may not ever speak to him again. He but, probably won't talk to me again, but, but that's okay. Uh, awesome day. Hey, thanks it. for being a part of 3B Outdoors. No problem. Look Thank forward you. to doing it again, okay. man. Okay, thanks. Thanks. What a way to close the deal on Kentucky Lake. Two great shows. The first one, whipping buck bushes in shallow cover, and today, way out offshore, throwing a big crankbait, catching those structure fish out there on historic Kentucky Lake. One thing I need to do is apologize to Barry Luke. Our fellow pro staff member was behind the camera so that you can see what we were doing with this big plug. We got caught up in the moment, forgot about it, didn't even let him fish until it was too late. So Barry, I apologize, man. Next time, you and David can do the show. But until next time, I'm Nathan Light, and this is 3B Outdoors. Hope you enjoyed the show because we always bring you quality hunting and fishing. It's the double. How about a triple? How about a triple? It's awesome, baby. We've been hunting the place. Look how fat that fish is. Beautiful. That's a nice one right there. I just wish he was about that much longer.